In this video, we're going to talk about what the best private and public golf courses are in Sarasota, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Mariah Talia Faro. I'm a realtor with Premier Sotheby's here in gorgeous and sunny Sarasota, Florida, where golfing is a big activity. So whether you're looking to move to the area or you're just wanting to explore Florida in general, definitely tune into the rest of this channel. We're doing videos every single week about what it's like to live, sleep, eat, work, play here and uh, we love it. So if you have questions, definitely post your comments below, reach out to me anytime, but most importantly, please like and subscribe to this channel so the YouTube algorithm will show my videos to other people. Golfing is an awesome pastime and many people who want to move to the Florida area really anticipate golfing being one of their like main activities. So whether you are a pro golfer or you're just getting started, there are different courses for everyone. So. Big thank you to my client and friend, Rick, who helped me with the content of this video because he's an avid golfer and was able to give me great recommendations on which golf courses are the best and the ones you should check out. So the first one is the concession and the concession is out east. It's just a little bit east of Lakewood Ranch, if you've heard of that community. And what's amazing about the concession is that it's really a pro level golf course. And in fact, last year, the PGA Tour played there. Um, so it's, it's a phenomenal course. It's very difficult to actually get into unless you live in the community and are a member. So do you know that this is a private course? It's very challenging as well. So unless you are a very avid player, you might wanna steer clear of the concession. Of course, if you are great at the game, then you definitely wanna check out this course. The second one is the Ritz Carlton Golf Club. Now this one again is a private members only golf course. If you are a member, you can bring guests, but membership also includes access to the golf course. You can become a beach club member as well. And you have also access to the spa and the fitness facilities that are in the Ritz Carlton Hotel in downtown Sarasota and the beach club, which is on Lido Key. So a lot of benefits with being a member of the Ritz Carlton. This is an absolutely stunning course because it's really in the middle. I shouldn't say in the middle of nowhere because it's definitely easily accessible, but there's a lot of land associated with this course and there are no homes around. So it's just beautiful rolling hills. It's a beautiful course and it's very playable no matter what your level is. The fairways are wide and the practice facility is amazing. So you definitely wanna check out this course. The third one is the Founders Club, and this one is also associated with a neighborhood, and it's a beautiful course. The clubhouse is phenomenal. They also have some great young professional programs, so if you're below the age of 40, this is something to consider. There is a waiting list to actually get into the club as a member, so be patient if this is a course that you wanna check out. It's not to the level of the concession or the Ritz, so there will be no pro events there, but it's still a great course and something you want to take a look at. Now the Oaks is another private community that in order to actually be a member of the Oaks Country Club, you have to live within the Oaks. And if you live in the Oaks, you also have to be a member either as a social member or as a golf member. But the club itself is absolutely stunning. They have a fitness facility, they have multiple tennis courts, golf courses, of course, two of them to be exact. And it's just a stunning environment with beautiful trees and the golf course itself is very, very good. The fifth one is the Lakewood Ranch Country Club. This is a very exclusive club as well. You have to live in the community in order to be a member. And they have three different courses all absolutely beautiful, multiple levels. It is a difficult course, but it's still very enjoyable. And one of the best things is that the club is absolutely stunning. So many people will have weddings there. It's a beautiful setting, great course, definitely one you wanna check out. The sixth one is the Longbow Key Club. And again, you have to be a member in order to access this golf course. Um, this is a 
really beautiful setting because you're actually on Longbow Key. So the it's a scenic area. Not only is the course beautiful and very well maintained, but you're in just an awesome setting being near the beach and on the water. It is a little bit of a smaller course just because there's not a lot of land on the key. So just be mindful of that. It's not one where you're going to have any pro level events, or if you're a serious, serious golfer, you may have to have something a little bit more challenging. But the benefit of being at the Longbow Key Club is you also also have access to the tennis courts of which they have I believe nine they have multiple restaurants they have a beach club a resort fitness facility and so much more and if you're planning on living on Longbow Key Lido Key downtown Sarasota or really any of like the surrounding areas this is the closest golf course Laurel Oak is another awesome course. It is older, it's an older community, much more established, but it is a golfer's course. The course itself may not be as maintained as let's say the Ritz, the Concession, or even the Longbow Key Club, but it's a very, very good course regardless. The eighth course is in Prestancia, which is located in Palmer Ranch, a little bit farther south. This is a TPC golf course. They're actually investing millions of dollars to update the clubhouse and the courses themselves. They have a new owner. Their membership has gone so much younger over the years as well, and it's a phenomenal course. So much so that the senior tour actually plays there, so it's a very pro-like course. So now let's move on to public golf courses or ones that aren't quite as exclusive. Now, do keep in mind that if you go on the app, which is called Golf Now, you can really look up all the different courses that are running promotions. And many of them are private golf courses, but they have these different summer promotions when you know people aren't here. Um, so use that app, little insider trick. Thanks, Rick, again. Lakewood National is the absolute best public golf course, so much so that the Corn Ferry Tour actually plays there. So it's not exclusive, anyone can go there and play, and it's a really awesome course, so check that one out. There are two Esplanade communities that are located in Lakewood Ranch, and both of those have golf courses that you can actually play at if you don't live in the community and are not a member. Now that may change as the subdivision gets filled and the homes get completed, but right now it is kind of considered a public golf course, and it's a great one to check out. Now, the one true public public course is Legacy, and this one, like I said, it's fully public. They run a lot of awesome promotions, like $40 a month, and you get it like free beer after your game. So that's a great one. Um, the course itself is not as well, well maintained, but it's still a very nice course and it's a fun one to play on. So definitely check that one out. Now you may have heard of Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones was a public golf course. They actually had 32 holes. And right now it's still being determined what the long-term plan will be. So it's possible that they're going to make 18 holes into a public park and then the other 18 holes into an actual public golf course again. So a lot is to be seen with that. So um, definitely tune back in for more updates on Bobby Jones. So there you have it. I think we listed off about uh, 14 or so different golf courses for you to check out. Of course, if you have any questions, do post your comments below. And if you've played at any of these golf courses that are mentioned, let our viewers know what you thought about it. Feedback is always super helpful. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care.